Hi, I'm Glenn Collinson from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. And I'm the principal investigator for the rocket mission Endurance. And my team and I, we've come here to beautiful Nealesund in Svalbard. We're at 79 degrees north latitude. We're at the top of the world. And we're here to launch a rocket ship to try and understand why Earth is habitable and, and why we're all here. So if you want to have a habitable planet, we need to have an ocean and we need to have a breathable atmosphere. Uh, unless you're a little mollusk at the bottom of the sea, right, or something like that, right? We, we want an atmosphere. So to hold on to an atmosphere, we need it not to be sucked off into space, like at other planets this has happened. Every planet with an atmosphere should generate a very weak electrical field, an electrical potential. It's like a very weak charge. And this potential, this charge is important because it helps push heavy things that we like oxygen and, and nitrogen and these molecules, these gases that we need for life can help strip them off of planets. So at Venus, we've been able to measure this planetary potential, the potential of Venus. And we found that it's so strong that it can actually pull oxygen straight out of Venus's atmosphere, just kicking it and screaming. So we think one of the reasons why Earth is habitable is that our field is weak. Our, we have a very weak uh, potential. The problem is, it's never been measured. The, the technology hasn't existed before. Um, but that's the goal of endurance. We are here with you know, a rocket that we think has got what it takes to maybe make this very difficult measurement. And uh, if we're right, then the secret to part of the mystery of why life is possible on this planet lies above our heads right here.